guys, I'm Lucas, welcome to KNews episode 20 about another Atlas V launch. This time Atlas will be used in its 401 configuration, which means there will be no solid rocket boosters on the sides, a 4 meter wide fairing and one engine on the upper stage. The payload consists of the NRO L55 mission and 13 CubeSats. The launch is scheduled for Thursday 5am local time and will occur on the US West Coast at the Wandenberg Air Force Base in California. The rocket will, as the location already indicates, head westwards, aiming for a clockwise orbit which is against the rotation of the Earth below it. NRO is the US National Reconnaissance Office, which means the satellite will perform a secret mission, thus the information shared are rather poor. However, there are indications for it to belong to the Intruder family, which are satellites used to locate ships and airplanes by their radio communication. For this, two identical satellites are used. Each receives the radio signal from the target at a slightly different time. From this difference in time, a position can be derived, which is however not an exact point. This is because it's unknown how long the signal was traveling. Imagine such a simplified case. The signal hits the satellite A a little bit earlier than satellite B. This is the same no matter where you position the target at this line. Now this information seems useless as long as we only consider a single calculation. However, doing these measurements at least twice from different locations leads to another line which, what a coincidence, intersects exactly at the target's location. Since the satellites orbit our planet, the locations are constantly changing, which allows it to track transmitting targets using only two satellites. As mentioned earlier, there will be 13 CubeSats as a secondary payload, which are launched partly for the military, but also NASA, to test new devices exposed to the vacuum of space. What caught my eye is their position during launch. It's not also below the fairing, but mounted next to the upper stage engine, on the so-called aft bulkhead carrier. The mount can carry up to 85 kilograms, and the CubeSat separation could look like this. Ok, that concludes KNews episode 20 featuring Atlas V. I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.